Hello, uh, this is uh, Ron from Superior Kinetic Technologies, and today I want to talk to you about uh, the uh, Ron Kenyon's power hammer. Uh, I built this, this is a first generation Kenyon design power hammer. Let me move, make, make a little more room for myself here. And uh, I built this hammer about 25, 26 years ago. Um, almost as soon as I heard about the plants, I saw a video about it and said, hey, I'm going to make this. So, uh, what this, uh, you know, there's very few modifications to the original design. A couple of the pieces are odd. This is a 10 by 48 wide flange because I happen to have a big hunk of it in the backyard. He calls for 10 by 60. So, uh, I, I pretty much stuck with his original design all the way around. If you notice these, well, that's because uh, a few years back I needed to move this machine and this hoist hook that a friend of mine welded up here was useless with the pneumatics on it. So I just cut a couple of holes, but they were so ugly that I had to cover them up. So I just put a couple of two inch machine holes in there. And uh, there you go. You take, you put your, run your foreplit, your forks through either side, uh, stick a couple of steel bars through there and lift the whole thing up. I've got this over here that's even with this, so I can lift it with the forks that way. It just makes it easier to move around. Uh, got a shut off here, shuts off the air in case something breaks or I just, you know, want to start it charging up slowly. Uh, everything on this is pretty much identical otherwise to Ron Kenyon's power hammer. I've seen a lot of people display their power hammers and say, well, I didn't want to have a check valve. And, they don't understand that that makes the hammer respond slow. Or that, you know, usually when somebody says they're not happy with the way it's working, because they didn't follow the original instructions. Also, I went with his original pedal because I wanted it to, uh, I, I wanted to decide where I, I wanted to decide where I stand. I don't want the air hammer to decide where I stand. And if I put a treadle down there, attach the air hammer, that would tell me where I would have to stand. Uh, I, ho I hope this is pretty good. Ron Kenyon's a really knowledgeable guy. I really appreciate him making these plans available. I got these through Abana. Um, and uh, like I said, I've been using this cylinder 25 years and it's still running. I just recently had to replace the spool valve, but it had a lot of years on it and that's just what happens. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful.